This year, we had a great launch of our podcast, The Bridge, Your Health, Your Voice. We had amazing guests come on and talk about topics like mental health, race and racism in digital health, and the Patients Professors Academy. We talked to Jarrell Owens, a compassionate barber in Baltimore whose training in mental health issues help clients feel comfortable talking about mental health within the black community. Luke Cooper, a venture capitalist, talked about financial literacy for minority business owners. Hear from all our guests and topics by searching The Patients Program wherever you listen to your podcast and you should find The Bridge, your health, your voice. Welcome to The Bridge. This is our first podcast of 2023. This program is really looking at trying to reduce infections after surgery. Uh, Julian had a heat stroke on the very first day of football practice. He was a sophomore at the University of Maryland. Healthcare needs to speak to people's culture. You can't fill another person's cup until you already know what's in it. And I think that the Patients Professor Program, it, it helps you to continuously learn. And when you talk about, um, you know, invisible symptoms and something being misdiagnosed, we as humans are not born with check engine lights. Involving patients way before we start writing our research question, like what do they need, you know, instead of our agenda. Most individuals don't know how individually powerful they are, you know, and how they can affect circumstances that they seem, that, that might seem out of their control. That patient program that came into Greater Mandaman was really good for the residents um, to let them know that they do have a voice. And together we can build a more robust way to, again, improve health equity, diversity, equity, and inclusion in research, uh, and advocate for our community. Well, I think it's appropriate on the Bridge podcast to talk about how we connect people, right, Rodney? So I appreciate the way you taught me about language and, and connections and the importance of that. Let me ask you a question. Go for it. When did you first realize health was fragile? Back in 2012, my mom passed away from lung cancer. Thank you for joining us for this important discussion on race and racism in digital health and information technology. The field of health hasn't been kind to us over the years, and, and mental health is a part of that. And so it's just like the barbershop really allows you to kind of unwind and get rid of some of that mental stress. 2023, people are still because of either the color of their skin, their gender, their sexual identity, where they come from, their language, are still not receiving the support within the healthcare system. The jail and the funeral home are full of fragile, insecure people. They're full of people who can't control their emotions, they act childish, and then they do things that unfortunately take their lives away. 50% of uh, those who uh, do need mental health services don't receive them. Um, and oftentimes it, it could be because of, of stigma. And so I'd love to hear more about uh, misconceptions. What are some common misperceptions? I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest stigma I think I've ever heard in my life. We're looking forward to more discussions about financial literacy, mental health. We're going to be talking to some of our community partners. We're also going to be getting connected with other organizations here on the University of Maryland campus. And if you have any suggestions for topics or even guests for The Bridge, do us a favor, send us a message on our social media. You can send it to us on Facebook, you can send it to us on Twitter, or even LinkedIn. You can email us at patients at rx.umaryland.edu.